Shawnee, Shaquille O'Neal's ex-wife. She's married to a preacher man now and all seems well with the couple. But of course, if she never mentioned Shaq's name, they wouldn't be able to maintain the same lifestyle of attention and fame. Because let's be honest, the only time she ever got attention is if she was mentioned in the same sentence with Shaq or O'Neal. She had four kids with him, many believe she had five, but it was four. She got all the money and wealth out of him, but the money isn't enough for them. They want attention too, which is why she's still talking about a man that at this point she's been divorced from longer than she was married. Married seven years before Shawnee filed divorce, they've been legally separated now for 15 years and legally divorced for 13. She moved on and married a man that she's really into, for real. I don't believe she's with him for fame or money because this man wasn't famous and Shaq's legacy is now taking care of both of them. So this new man didn't just marry Shawnee, but he married Shaq's money too. Shawnee is out trying to sell a book right now and she's pulling a Jada Pinkett, revealing things that she should have kept to herself or between her and her other accomplices in her life that already knew about this. She said that she only wanted to talk about Shaq and her book to clear up any misconceptions about her. Like, girl, stop. You talked about Shaq because you have nothing else to talk about that will garner these people's attention long enough to buy your book. In the book, Shawnee revealed that she never really loved Shaq. When I heard this, of course, I wasn't shocked because what's understood doesn't have to be explained. Personally, I didn't need this confirmation from Shawnee because it's not like it's gonna stop the sisterhood from feeling sorry for her anyway. Shawnee's done a great job over the last two decades playing the long-suffering wife and using that as an excuse to extract resources and continue to use the power of that man's last name to build on television with the Basketball Wives brand and also using Shaq's own infidelity as a tactic to make him submit to the whole plan. Make him feel guilty so he willingly gave up the money and the payments and agreed to settlements and everything else without arguing about it. Shaq was like, here, take it out, work and go get some more money. I was such a bad husband for talking to all these women as an international sports figure, dominant player, top of the game. I was just so bad, so here, take what you want and I'll get some more. That was Shaq's attitude. He never complained about it. But I have to say, this little known confession Shawnee just put out should really have Shaq thinking right now. All this time, he allowed himself to be portrayed as the villain when he was being conspired against from the beginning. And I don't know, I think he's still locked under the spell. Shaq did respond, he said, I understand I wouldn't have been in love with me either. Wishing you all the best. All love, Shaq. And a lot of women love this response. They started praising Shaq for quote, taking accountability. This was repeated over and over in the comments on social media. The conversation was more about, well, he was a cheater. That's why she didn't love him. Or he took her through so much. You know, the same color purple victimhood story. Not once did anybody say, wait, if you never loved him, that would mean you also didn't love him before the infidelity. You never loved him. You just saw him as a meal ticket the whole time and you knew as a professional athlete, he had a gazillion other girls around him with your same mindset, all of you trying to get at him. It was a game for all of y'all and you being able to get the ring and push out those kids and take the last name, well, you would declare yourself the winner when you implemented the second phase of your plan, which was to use the same competition you played in with these other women as an excuse to walk away from the poker table when you believed he stacked up enough chips for you to take away and live comfortably without him. Listen, it's not a coincidence that the year Shaq's NBA career was starting to wind down to his last years. You know, when he left Miami, that's the same year Shawnee went to the courthouse and filed for divorce. And the last season he played in the NBA is directly connected to the finalization of that divorce. I don't care what anybody says, this was all calculated and everybody around Shawnee was in on the plan except for Shaq. The light bulb still didn't go off in his head yet. He's still blaming himself, which is also a part of the plan. He's got to go along with this in order for the original plan to go on without a hitch. The truth is, Shawnee and every other professional athlete's wife, they already know what time it is when they get with these men. They're not there for a faithful, monogamous man that's going to be home every night. Are you serious? They're there for a lifestyle. They know they're going to be on the road majority of the year playing their sport. That's why quiet as it's kept, when these guys are near retirement, their wives start sneaking out the back door. But at any given time, they also know they can keep the infidelity card in their back pocket and pull it out when they're ready to cash out. Then Shaq's oldest son, the real son, he came under his comments, Sharif, to try to make his dad feel better. Him being a young man, 24 years old, an athlete himself, he's smart enough to know his mom is a savage, but out of respect, you know, it is what it is. Sharif wrote, 
love you man you saved my life in one comment in another comment Sharif said literally the most lovable and likable person on the planet Sharif wasn't the only one in fact all of Shaq's sons came up under his comments to show him love his son Shakir left this comment here you know I love you twin then I saw a comment from the other oldest son Miles O'Neal Miles wrote bro I can't believe this is happening on my birthday love you always this is crazy now I always knew what Shawnee was and the connection always seemed off to me but for a long time she had people feeling sorry for her saying oh she pushed out five babies for him yeah she pushed out five babies but the first wasn't for Shaq and by now we should all know that they'll push out babies for anybody for strangers people they don't even know so pushing out a baby doesn't mean they love a man we've seen them time and time again push out babies as a retirement plan like I need everybody to stop playing right now and that's another thing he took in her first son like it was his own so much so people really thought that her son was his son Miles was a Baptiste before Shawnee got Shaq to adopt him and destroy the relationship with his real father. Also, she could move on and secure a rich life for herself and then change his last name from his Haitian's dad's name to O'Neal's last name. So when you have situations like this, when they take in your first child and now you have to have more children from the new man than you did from the first man to outnumber the child that didn't come from the both of y'all. Side note, no one ever says this, but for every 20 situations just like this, 18 or 19 of them will have at least one more child than they did with the previous person. For instance, if there's one previous child that was before their relationship, these folks will get together and they'll have at least two of their own. So that two will outnumber the sole one, but most will push for three. So the ratio is three to one. And it's an unknown truth. No one ever talks about it. There is a reason for that. But just think about the scenario. Even with average everyday people, you will see the same ratio for people in these blended families. But as you can see by the stepson's response, he was hurt by the comment too. And that's because deep down inside, he knows Shaq took care of him and really made him his own son. And even after taking in her kid, raising him up himself, this is the things he gets. That's nasty work, Shawnee. Part of me is like, you could have kept this to yourself and have some respect for the man to not embarrass him like this, especially when he's always speaking highly of you. He never wanted anybody to look at you as a gold digger, which intelligent people, we already knew what time it was. Shaq elevated your image in every way, even now. And he's been upholding her image because of their children. But you see what she's doing, right? Everybody got to take note. I know you see it. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. What do you think about Shawnee revealing that she never really loved Shaq? She said that she wanted to open up to clear misconceptions. How well do you think this helped her accomplish that? Special thank you to Roland C. I appreciate you, Roland, for always supporting the channel. As well as my sister, Miss Abby. Thank you so much, Miss Abby. Our brother, Dark Power, and John C. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.